Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. A member of the royal family has bemoaned the coronation seating plan that left him feeling frustrated. Mike Tyndall admitted there were parts of the historic ceremony he could not see despite being sat in the fourth row. Zara Tyndall and her husband Mike were seated behind the row containing Prince Harry, Princess Eugenie, Princess Beatrice, and Prince Andrew. Images from the day appear to show the former England rugby player struggling to see past the Duke of Sussex. Mike said on his podcast, You're in the hottest spot, but it's happening all around the corner where you can't see. You do have a front seat, but, he continued, it was unbelievable being sat there, but frustrating. Mike added that he watched much of the coronation ceremony on a TV screen placed on one of the pillars in Westminster Abbey. Despite being sat one row ahead of Mike Tyndall, Prince Harry's coronation views was far from perfect. The Duke of Sussex's view appeared to be blocked by Princess Anne's feather hat during parts of King Charles's coronation. Princess Anne was seated in the second row alongside her brother Prince Edward. The large red feather worn by the Princess Royal seemed to obscure her nephew's sight of the ceremony. Harry was sat alongside other non-working royals Prince Andrew, Princess Beatrice, and Princess Eugenie. The Duke of York's daughters were also accompanied by their husbands Eduardo Mapelli Mosi and James Brooksbank in the third row at Westminster Abbey. Prince Harry flew immediately back to the U.S. following the coronation. The Duke of Sussex left the Abbey following the conclusion of the ceremony. While senior members of the royal family headed to Buckingham Palace to watch the fly past, the Duke of Sussex darted to Heathrow Airport to catch his flight home after watching his father be crowned king. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.